Hey everyone, welcome back to All Buzz. Today, we're diving into some unexpected news that has the photography world buzzing. Leica has released the open source code for their new Deluxe 8 camera, and it's available for download on their website. But is this a marketing failure or a stroke of genius? Let's explore what this really means for photographers in the camera industry. So what exactly does open source mean? In simple terms, open source software is code that's made available to the public, allowing developers to view, modify, and improve it. This concept is all about fostering innovation and collaboration. However, in the case of Leica Deluxe 8, things are a bit more nuanced. Leica's move to release the open source code is significant because it's a first for a major camera manufacturer. But here's a twist. The open source release includes only the software Leica is required to release under the GNU General Public License. It doesn't include the proprietary software that makes up the core of the camera's firmware. So, while it's a nod to transparency, the real potential for community-driven customization is limited. At first glance, the idea of an open source camera suggests exciting possibilities for photographers. Imagine customizing your camera's features or enhancing its performance through community-developed software. But with Leica's Deluxe 8, the reality is that the critical parts of the firmware remain proprietary. While this limits the scope for customization, Leica's compliance with open source licensing is commendable. It sets a precedent for transparency that other manufacturers might follow even if the practical implications for photographers are limited. So, what does this mean for Leica and the broader camera industry? Leica has always been known for its innovative spirit, and this move is no exception. By releasing open source code, Leica positions itself as a brand that values transparency and compliance. However, this also raises questions about their marketing strategy. The lack of fanfare around this release could suggest a missed opportunity to fully capitalize on their pioneering efforts. It's a bold move that could have reshaped the industry conversation, but instead, it leaves us wondering about Leica's intentions. In conclusion, Leica's release of the Deluxe 8 open source code is a complex and intriguing development. While it might not revolutionize the camera's capabilities, it's a step towards greater transparency in the industry. What do you think? Is this a failed marketing strategy or a genius move? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the latest in photography and tech. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on All Buzz.